Hey, we are live. All right. Did you find out what that tree was at the um, UU church? No, I never made it over there. I'm sorry. That's okay. And drove by it a dozen times, and uh, I was always on my way, rushing to get somewhere else, so I never stopped. All right. It doesn't look like a Zelkova, though. It has a different um, budding budding structure, you know, yeah. pattern. And Julian's coming in, and Stephen Mabi. Mabi. Oh, that could be. Do we want to um, mute everybody? Just have them non-committee members um, uh, to uh, avoid past couple of. Um, well, I'm only letting in people who I, know, who I know to be involved. Okay. Go ahead, Julian. Hello. Um, could I get promoted? Am I on panelist? Yeah, I did promote yeah, you. I did promote you. Okay, great. Perfect. Yeah. Recording in progress. Okay, we need a couple more people to be have a quorum. Uh, hey, Sarah's here, okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. We need one more person to have a quorum. Julian's here, although he's doesn't have his his camera on. I'm uh in the car driving home, so okay. I will be home shortly. Good. Britt and Bennett can't make it, but uh, hopefully Shoshana and uh, Ellen will be here. I miss somebody else. I'll text them.
Shoshana will be on soon. All right, um, Alan. We just we need to just keep waiting till we get the quorum. Um, yeah, we can't. You, we're not supposed to hold a meeting if we don't have a quorum. Okay. So. We will keep waiting. Sorry, everyone. So quorum is based on how many official members there are? Yes. So four is a quorum out of the seven. OK. Pat DeAngelis cannot make the meeting. We have such important business that we have to have it be official. Yeah. 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 Ellen says she'll be right there. All right. So we will have a quorum. Um, I'm going to ask David Matavosian to explain what um, what's your connection to the meeting. Hi there. Um, I was here last meeting, um, mostly as an assignment because I'm a student at UMass, but this time I'm just interested in what's going on around Amherst. Great. Uh, I remember you now. Yeah. Okay. I will promote you to panelist and... Uh... And we have a quorum now, so we can start meeting. Just uh, reminded everybody that this meeting is being recorded and will be available to be viewed uh, after Friday um, of this week Great. on the town webpage. OK, welcome, everyone. Um, let's see. Let me grab the agenda real quick. Um, so announcements and public comments. Any public comments, Stephen Brooks or David? No? OK. Then we will uh, take uh, hours, the hours, and approve the minutes. Julian is still here. Oh, he's listed as here. He's driving. Can't talk. Yeah. He's actually disappeared. We don't have a quorum again. No, we do. We do without him. Okay, so never mind. Um, and he'll be in soon. So all in favor of approving the minutes? Yeah? Yeah. Sarah? I wasn't at the last meeting, so I'll abstain. Okay. Um, so who's the fourth one? No, we actually don't. We only have three of us here. Oh, crud. Okay, so we'll wait on that. Um, I can take hours, though, anyways. Sarah, how many hours? Two. Two. Ellen? Same with me. Two. And I probably have 10. Oh. Uh. oh.
Oh, Julian's back. How many hours, Julian? No answer. Recording. I have progress. heard me, uh, about six hours. Okay. Good. All right. So once again, welcome everyone. And uh, let's see. Um, so after that, we've approved the minutes. We've taken the hours. Um, our chair's report. Um, I got an email from the Girl Scout troop that helped us a few years ago with the planting, and they're eager to help us plant in April. So we'll have a nice crew of volunteers. We're planting on, uh, it's April 13th, second Saturday in April. So I'm looking forward to that very much. I hope you are too. Um, let's see. I have not heard from Pat DeAngelis about um, having a liaison with the town council, which we agreed to last meeting. Um, I got a question about a tree in front of the Unitarian Church, which Alan and I couldn't identify, but he hasn't stopped by to look at it. So I'm waiting to get that back. The Sustainability Festival we're doing um, April 20th, I believe is the date. And we need to decide if we want to have, do a demonstration, have some kind of demonstration. We've had that before. Um, Alan, you've done something in the past or the committee could do something pruning or a planting demonstration or something? Is that something people are interested in? Yeah, I see Sarah shaking her head, yes. So um, like demonstration of how to plant a tree? Anything tree related, we could do a demonstration. We could bring leaves and do an ID thing or whatever. I mean, we'll have our booth anyway and people will come to the booth and get info. But if we want, we can also be in the demonstration area. Okay. I think a demonstration is a great idea. Um, pruning is a great one. Uh, planting, I suppose if there's a tree nearby to be planted, we could do a planting demonstration. Hard to do if you're not actually putting a tree in the ground. Um, but I think pruning is definitely a, a useful skill that we can show. Okay, I mean, it usually uh, happens in the, the demonstration area, but I suppose if it's a nearby tree, we could, we, that might be a good idea, do a pruning workshop. Yeah. Alan, you good for that? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I mean, the um, historically the very low turnout for the training area there, the center area we rope off and people can do demonstrations unless it's something really flashy. Um, tend not to get a lot of people, but it's still good to be there and do something. Is it, are there a lot of kids? Um, there are a lot of kids going through, you know, if it's advertised as a, child event you know so they publicize it and say what's happening you know at what time of day at the demonstration area so if you really publicize it as a ch children's event you might get some people because they're always looking for things to do with their kids so yeah um you know yeah. you may get a good turnout something we could do with leaves we could glue leaves on kids or have them glue leaves on paper or you know yeah. something like that would be kind of fun and silly um I was going to talk about this later, but I did reserve 50 um, uh, Professor Ellenwood Picklethorn's activity book. It's all about urban trees. And supposedly this is a big success. It's been a big hit in, um, with kids. And I have never seen the, this is a real, character, a real person who puts on shows and events and created a, an activity book for kids. So I'm going to be picking those up hopefully tomorrow um, and I'll have a better idea um, hmm. what we could, maybe we could act, integrate that into um, something. Yeah, that sounds great. And that could be the prize too. If you successfully hmm. glue some leaves on a paper, you get a book. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I just realized we don't have a secretary. Uh, Ellen, can you take minutes? Um, okay, hold on. I gotta switch. <laughs> I'm at, I'm still at work, so um, yeah. All right. 
If this time is difficult for people, we can change the time. I've brought it's that up. It's difficult now that it's nice out. <laughs> but um, well, I missed the whole beginning. So <laughs> okay. So the key is to get uh, people's names. If you look at participants, you can see the names of the people who are here. You have to click on okay. panelists. And I'm just on this weird screen mirroring mirroring thing that I cannot see. Don't worry about it. I'll figure okay. it out. <laughs> I can actually take a screenshot of the people that are here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So I'll have the names. I can add them in later. All right. Uh, Shoshana's here. Okay, good. So, all right. Um, does someone want to grab a book from Alan and then try to come up with a plan for some sort of event that would incorporate the book? Sure, I would be happy to. Okay, great. And uh, the woman's name who writes the book is Ellen Wood Picklethorne? The name of the character, the character um, is, uh, let's see, Professor Ellenwood Pricklethorn. Pricklethorn, okay. I was just going to do a Google search on it there, or search. Good. All right. Um, so Sustainability Festival is April 20th. We will have a booth. We'll have to figure out who can staff it and when, and then maybe we'll do something if we come up with a good idea for a demonstration time. Um, we all, even if you're not at the meeting, should be reading the minutes. And, um, you know, I noticed after everyone approved the January minutes, I was went back in and noticed that we had the wrong, um, the wrong date in there for something. So I did correct that before I sent them into the town website, but it'd be good to really check the minutes good when you get them. Um, there's some webinars coming up. Urban Forestry Magazine. Does anyone else read that? No? You read it sometimes. So it comes yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it comes every um, month. Or no, four times a year now. It used to be every month from the State uh, Department of uh, Environment and Conservation, DC, DCR, Conservation and Recreation. Um, and it's a great great newsletter it has a lot of good information and it lists a bunch of webinars that you can do that are free. Um, there's an um, I tree class that's going to be happening and a couple other ones that look good. So I will send the link out and maybe put it on the website or maybe post it on Facebook. Actually, Shoshana, if I send it to everyone, please post it on Facebook. Okay. It's, the, it's called the citizen forester. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend reading it. And there's also other events that um, we can do to learn more about trees and um, and street trees in particular. So I will pass that out to everyone. Um, Alan, you'll probably talk about this, but the Mass Tree Wardens and Forest Association meeting is coming up March 21st. Yes. Can you um, say something now. It's um it's in Northampton. It's the Western Mass chapter. Um, we have. Um, two presentations talking about alternatives to petroleum-based um, tree care items. So like one is non-petroleum-based, like barn chain oil, uh, fluids and oils and things you use on machine equipment. They're all non-petroleum-based, certified to be used with the type of equipment. And then the other one is um, using uh, battery-powered equipment, non-petroleum powered equipment in the tree care industry. Uh, the main presentation for the evening um, is actually sort of advanced first aid refresher. So it's going to be, you know, uh, stop the bleed sort of things, um, tourniquet, how to use a tourniquet, um, things that if you work, you know, outdoors around machinery in the tree care industry, um, Things to do that are beyond first aid, um, just until the ambulance gets there. So, right. I, I, sorry, I just have two questions. I'm just catching up. Did we um, designate where the second Saturday planting is on April 13th? 
We did it's last month. We haven't talked about it yet. At this okay. meeting. No, that's on the agenda. So okay. there was comment. Yeah, I thought we decided that. Yeah. yeah. South Amherst Common, yeah. Okay. okay. What's your other question? Um, Alan just attended the Western Mass chapter of what? <laughs> so that's um that's what's coming up. It's an upcoming yeah. um evening um Western Mass chapter of Mass Free Wardens evening is a dinner meeting where we have um talks and it's a uh, it's open to anybody in the green industry, citizen committees, tree wardens, tree care people. Um, the date again, March? 21st Thank at the you. Blue Bonnet Diner in Northampton. Thank you. All right, I'm caught up. Julian and I have attended in the past and uh, you get to meet some other people from other tree committees and people working for different tree companies and uh, some interesting stuff that happens. Julian and I both spoke at it actually one time. So, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I know uh, Shoshana, you were going to meet with the South Amherst Library. Did that happen? Yep. Yeah, we set up a thing um, to, they picked out some stories that we could read. Um, that would be like, you know, tree appropriate that we could do with kids to make it like a kid friendly event. And um, I was planning on bringing snacks and um, inviting people to read poetry about trees. And I've made a, a event on Facebook that um, if you guys are on Facebook, it would be cool to go and respond to that. The more people that are going to say that they're going to go on Facebook, the more people will see it. Great. Like, even if you don't plan on going, just say that you're going to go and then, <laughs> then it will make it better. <laughs> well, it's also good to have a, a big crowd. We can plant more trees. So, yeah. Yeah. Do come, yeah. But just, um, Shoshana, so the, the idea is to have something running, you know, as we're planting trees or is this taking place before or after? How is how we work in the? Uh, well, the I have as um, like this would happen like like a whole thing would happen uh, with the the tree. There's like this one tree that's supposed to be for the the retired person, right? So yeah, it would be like a come and learn how to plant the tree, and then um, and then after that tree is planted. You know, one of us could stick with that gang and, you know, talk about the importance of trees and, you know, what the tree committee does and read a story to them and, and snacks. So do we want to schedule a time now to just say, you know, at the end, so that we at nine o'clock, we start planting trees and then the last tree we plant will be the noon at the or 1130 at the Munson Library, sort of? I think that's good to do it toward the end because uh, the Girl Scouts are coming to help plant trees and I don't want them to get sidetracked into something else. <laughs> um, but it's great. So like, I mean, do we want, I mean, we usually plan from nine to you know, noon. Do we want to yeah. say, so 11.30? Yeah, maybe like, a, yeah, 11 or 11.30, something like that, yeah. I okay. think that's great, yeah. Okay. Good. All right, thanks, Shoshana. Um, we might as well, um, I don't think, let's see if I have anything else. Oh, the table, um, the Mary Maple table, uh, the library is going to take it, but they don't want it until um, the new library is built. So talking to Britt about this, she suggested maybe we can um, have it go to town hall, but we need someone to go talk to town manager or somebody at town hall and get that figured out. Does anybody want to do that? I could go do that. Great, thanks. Okay. And um, yeah, Ellen, you were going to make a plaque for that. Yes. Okay. So before it goes anywhere, that, that should be done. Okay. Good. All right. And I think that's all I have for me. Uh, Julian, Vice Chair. Hi. Yes. Um, could I get promoted to panelist on my computer? I just joined in.
Okay, I did that once, but here I did it again. <laughs> okay, good, there you are. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, anyway, vice chair's update. Yes, to what you said, the sustainability festival on the 20th. Um, I understand that um, it's on the 20th or the hours 10 to four, is that correct? Um, I don't know the hours, yeah. Somebody Pretty sounds about right. There's a okay. setup time early, gonna be there a little earlier to set up. Okay, sounds good. Um, so that, and then the other thing that I was gonna share in my vice chair's report, uh, you mentioned something to Henry. Um, it was with the town's, uh, oh, I think it was the town's, oh, right, no, it was the town, uh, I was wondering when, if we'll be able to get all the stumps ground on the South Amherst Common before it goes through. Good question. Um, so we have, um, we just took down a dead Norway maple. We have a, another tree, it's an elm that's going to be coming down possibly another nori maple. Um, I would like to think we will be able to. Our stump grinder is still not functioning 100%, kind of works for a while and decides it doesn't want to work. Uh, some kind of computer issue that the manufacturer, the sales folks that sold it to us can't seem to fix. They don't can't find the problem. So, um, so I think we can do that. Awesome. Thanks. Um, I think that's all I have. Okay. I have something for social media, though. Okay. We'll wait on that, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. The treasures report, Sarah. Yes. Uh, our current balance is $9,355.29, which is no change going back to September when we um, stopped our plantings. The four, there's a $48 encumbrance on the account, which is dedicated to Amherst Nurseries. Um, I guess their bill came in $48 less, or we were expecting more trees. They weren't able to get something to that effect where we have essentially a $48 credit that's tagged for Amherst nurseries that hasn't been cashed in. So the, the way that we need to get that taken off and have the $48 not, no longer be encumbered is for Alan to just send an email um, saying this no longer needs to be dog-eared for Amherst Nurseries um, and then that will be taken care of. So just a simple email letting them know that that's no longer needs to be um, put aside. Okay. Thank you. Um, and that was Rain's comments in the background. Yes, um, I apologize. <laughs> Alan, Tree Warden's report. Uh, just, I guess, update. So the seedlings are ordered. They'll be here, um, I believe, the first week of April for Arbor Day, for Arbor Month. Um, bare root trees are ordered. They're also going to be here in April. Um, I'm working out. I was just emailing with the, the vendor today, trying to get the, the date when those seedlings, sorry, the bare root plant stock will be available. Um, That's I'm going to be meeting... Nursery. That's for the tree nursery? Yes. Great. Um, I'm meeting with the consultant, uh, sorry, the contractor who is doing the North Amherst Common renovation project. And they're, they're using the same nursery that I bought the root, bare root stock from, Bigelow Nursery. Um, so I'm supposed to meet them to go tag the trees that are going to be installed on the common um, at, the, at the nursery in April. So I'm trying to coordinate the arrival of the bare root tagging the trees and then bringing the bare root stock back with me so um let's see and yeah um, we talked about the if i can interrupt the um witch hazels are also on order they'll come in sometime in early april to may and then they'll be good. ready for yeah harbor day um we talked about the booth uh, coming up with a plan for the booth was something i wanted to talk about um we also have to 
uh, come up with a schedule of events for Arbor Month. So, because um, we need to do the proclamation and we need to, you know, have that as part of the proclamation so the town council can publicize it as they do their proclamations. Um, so if we can at some point during this meeting come up with dates and, and happenings that we will forward on to the town council for their Arbor Day proclamation. Um, let's see. I think that was all the main talking points. Um, I just, in general, we have been very fortunate this winter. We've continued to do a lot of tree work, trying to get caught up, finish clearing a lot of C-click fixes, which is the work request system we have uh, in town. Um, I'm down to uh, eight C-click fixes. Um, one of them I have to wait till the tree is in leaf because it requires us to prune a honey locust tree, which um, is much, you can do a much better job when it's in leaf because the, it has concealed buds when they're not in leaf and it's just difficult to tell what's dead and what's alive um, on a honey locust that's never been pruned in its entire life. So um, that one will be here till you know, leaf. But uh, it's been great getting caught up. Um, and I don't have any tree hearings lined up. We've got a busy construction season, lots of sidewalks being renovated, lots of road projects going on. Um, I don't have any um, word on any of the projects I've seen that's going to require trees to be removed at this phase. So um, they are starting some work on um, Belchtown Road from um, Southeast Street down towards Colonial Village. And it's a sidewalk project and there are no trees currently involved in that part of the project. When they do the rest of Beltstown Road, which is not currently funded, there will be some tree impact most likely uh, as they try to improve the sidewalks and in, in that whole road. So that's coming. That's about it. Thank you. Uh, Julian, back to you for the social media update. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so basically on that front, I've contacted Instagram to get the other account um, that looks like ours that we used to use removed. Um, and they have not gotten back to me. So I've contacted the followers who still follow that account just and shared our new account, our new account with them with a little blurb about here's where to follow us, so on and so forth. So um, some of them are starting to remove their subscriptions there and move them over to the other um, current account. Um, and as the planting season gets started, I will start posting more. All right, thank you. And Shoshana? Uh, yeah, I posted about um, this meeting. I posted about, um, I made that event for the second Saturday planting. And I feel like maybe I shared some other stuff, but I don't remember specifically right now. Great. All right. Um, yeah, and don't forget, everyone, that we should, uh, you know, click going on the uh, event that Shoshana created for the April, thir from April 13th. Yeah. All right. And speaking of April 13th, we're on presentations and discussions. The first one is the second Saturday workdays. So I'm looking forward to that one very much. Um, Alan, is, are we set for locations? Well, we have locations for April. May is going to be Rambling Road. June uh, was going to be Northampton Road. Um, and that's about as far as we've gotten. OK, I meant, though, um, locations, specific, specific locations and trees. Have you cited all the trees we're going to plant in April? Oh, in April. I'm sorry. Um, I have I have cited all the trees um, around the right. common and adjacent properties. And you staking them? Do you have the little sign we used to put on the stakes? I'm going to be putting the stakes out and marking for dig safe uh, either this week or next week. Um, so I can print out more of those signs, um, you know, a week before. Great. And 
put them on the snakes. All right. If you need that, I probably still have it somewhere. The original. I think file. I have the I have the you know the file. I can print it out. Okay. Good. Great. And do we need to be worried about um, lawnmowers crashing into these trees that we're planting? Yes. <laughs> um, is it possible to put, um, you know, like some kind of a wire cage around them or anything? Is that too much work? Yeah, I um, I should invest. We've talked about this in the past with the committee. Um, invest in. They do make a plastic. It's a PVC kind of twist wrap that goes around the trunk of the tree. Yeah. Um, it's very flexible. It does protect the trunk quite a bit uh, from string trimmers. It's not 100 percent but it expands as the tree expands. So for some reason it gets left on. Um, I'm not a big fan of attaching anything to the trunk of the tree, when, especially when they're young, because the trunk is actually often still um, you know, photosynthesizing in the younger trees it's, sure. it, and they need to breathe and holding moisture there is not good. Um, but uh, you know, some of them, especially where there's a landscape company managing a property or something, we get a lot of damage. Yeah, we lost about six trees, country corners, from the right. uh, landscaper. Yeah, I I tend to put um, hardware cloth, like just make a little, mm. you know, cage around it. Um, but maybe that's too expensive. I don't know. It's a good idea. Time, it's time consuming to install those. Um, We've been doing a lot of planting and we have to wrap them for rabbits and deer and stuff, but it's a, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. But if we have enough help, that's a, it's a good idea, I think. Um, I don't like those plastic ones. The plastic gets brittle and breaks and they don't expand. Hmm. Um, so the tree grows. You have to really have to remove them. So, yeah. But put them on for a few years, it'd be a great thing. Is that something one of us could buy a roll of hardware cloth, or is that something you would need to do, Alan? I would do that. Yeah, it's just something I would do. If you want, if you want, if you want to do hardware cloth, that's something I would. I think on the vulnerable ones, I think we should do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Brooks, if you show up on the thirteenth, we'll put you to work on that side of things. <laughs> Not like I'm an expert, but yeah, I'll I'll get it done. Great. Bring um, some. Uh... Go ahead, Sarah. One question, one comment. Uh, do we need to approve funds for from our account for Alan to buy this material for the plantings? Should I pull a form? Hmm. I could use the um, the new tree fund money, capital money, um, which wouldn't require that. Okay, and it's it's a pretty minor expense. I it is. I'm thinking so. Okay, we'll just do that. Good. All right, um, and second. I don't think I'm going to make the April planting, which I'm actually really bummed to miss because all of the activities in the Girl Scout troop sounds really fun. Um, I'm hoping that I will be able to make the um, sustainability festival on the 20th, but we're doing a major home renovation project and the house isn't going to be um, habitable for like a month. And we're going to be coming back right around the 20th, 21st, I think. So um remains to be seen. I'll be in touch, but I'll I'm try to attend as many events as possible, but probably not that first planting. Okay. All right, good. Um, so after the June planting, um, oh, do we do July plantings? I forget what we do anymore. We have, I mean, we just, um, it depends on the, what July is gonna be like. We, right. I can't remember what happened last July. I don't think we did. Maybe we did a work day in July. I don't remember. But if it's not too hot and there's regular precipitation, July is could be a day, for, you know, planting. Okay, and uh, we should schedule the planting of at least those two trees on Station Road. That yes. was requested. Yeah. Do you think we can do a whole planting in that area, or should that just be a something a couple of committee members do separately. Mm. Um, Can't we do that right during the, while we're on the common? I don't know where on Station Road the trees are, but. 
right across from Groff Park, uh, Qantas Park, excuse me. Yeah. It's like a misty, misty meadow. Stan is like a field. You mean Stanley? Stanley Street? Yep. What did I say? Oh, I said Station Road. Oh, yeah, so you said yeah. Station Road. Yeah, Stanley yeah. Street. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah. I think I think we'll have enough to do in South Amherst without adding that in. Yeah. No, because I thought you were on station. That's why I said yeah. that. But no, okay. No, that makes sense. Um, so Alan, do you have to cite those sites or can I can someone else on the committee go do that and yeah, those locations are going to be the same location. I think we're planting them where trees had died um, previously. Um, the trees that we planted you know, six years, seven years ago. Um, so so we, we don't need to do dig safe? We shouldn't need to, no. OK. Well, if, you can, uh, if we can figure out a time, I'll check in with uh, the, the woman who was here last month and did we get a species for that, or was that up to me again? I don't remember. I think that was up to you. Um, okay. Yeah. I can look very quickly, see if it's in the minutes. Um, Britt said, consider resilience of tree species when selecting trees. <laughs> That's the only thing we have about that for species. But shade trees, definitely. Okay. All right, so we'll revisit that, or you can contact me sooner if you have that info. Uh, next on the agenda is uh, Arbor Day plans, speaker and demonstration. This is separate from the April 20th um, sustainability, Fe sustainability Festival. Although we don't have to do a separate event, we could combine them. Um. I was in communication with um, one of the members of the Amherst uh, Sustainability Committee, what it was called. They came up with the climate action plan for the town. Um, and I had asked if they wanted to talk about the kind of green infrastructure component of the town's climate action plan. And um, I, I did hear back finally and they are interested in talking, um, but we're, he's a professor, uh, the, the committee member that I did hear back from is a professor at Hampshire College, and um, we're having a uh, slow email exchange. Okay. Um, so at some point, yeah, if we're going to send stuff to the, uh, to the town council, we'll need to um, get that information. Unless somebody else has an idea, somebody who wants to talk. Hmm. Oh, I have bad news on that front. I watched a rerun meeting of one of the town council committees, and they did not uh, approve our request for a liaison. Um, they approved it for a bunch of um, committees, but ours was not oh. among them. I think they tried to basically put them in order on which ones they liked better, etc. I'm not sure the exact details, but okay. Um, all right. So, anything else on Arbor Day? Anybody want to write something for the um, Hampshire Gazette about trees and Arbor Day? Doesn't have to be a committee member, Brooks or David. <laughs> So do we want to write um, about? Sorry, go ahead, Brooks. Sorry, that was me. Uh, oh, sorry, David. I apologize. Uh, what would, I was just asking, what would you want uh, the article to be about? Well, uh, Arbor Day, you know, sometime in April would be great if we could get let it to the editor or an op-ed column or something. The, yeah. the importance of trees, essentially, it's you know, it's it's tree centric. <laughs> um, <laughs> however. Uh, you know, the importance of trees in the community, interesting facts about trees. Um, that sounds like fun. I, I, I could try. That'd be great. great. Okay, that's good. good. Thank you for volunteering. 
Um, I realized that Stephen, um, you're here, I think for the South Amherst tree, library tree, but um, we haven't heard from you. And we were talking about that. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm a member of South Congregational Church and part of the buildings and grounds team. And we're having our big 200th anniversary celebration with a culminating in a week long celebration, June 30th to July 7th. And we, we came up with the idea we'd want to plant a tree to commemorate our 200th uh, anniversary. But since I emailed you uh, a while ago, uh, our little green committee, which is a subcommittee of our celebration, um, said we've got some volunteers that want to donate some trees and we want to put them out in our back meadow, which faces the Pelham Hills. Um, we have a lot of apple trees out there that are sort of dying. So we're going to replace three of those trees um, and we'll probably plant them this spring <laughs> and then we'll dedicate them uh, in a ceremony on July 7th. So I think that's what we decided to do. All right, great. If you need any help with the planting or advice, then uh, let us know. All right. I appreciate that very much. We'll, we'll be in touch. Good. Thank you. All right. Uh, back to the agenda. Um, no, that's not the agenda. Sorry. The Mary Maple table, we already talked about the town tree inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, the, the RFQs came back for requesting someone to, to uh, submit a bid for doing the inventory. The lowest bidder or two um, is uh, Arbor Pro. They're actually they're a national company. Um, very nice uh, presentation. They've done some inventory work for City of Springfield. I did call the City Forester there, and he gave them a you know a good review. Um, Davy Resource Group, who did the past inventories for the town. Um, was um, not the lowest bidder. Um, and I don't see any reason not to go with Arbor Pro. So um, I think we're gonna have a sign a contract with them uh, before the end of the month and get them on board and get the inventory done uh, before June. So um, great, good. And they're gonna produce a, a final report that's going to you know do an analysis of all the trees that are inventoried and all the the benefits they provide to the community to include new planting locations, um, stumps, uh, you know, tree conditions, species, whole nine yards. So it should be pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, perimeter urban forestry management plan. Still working on it. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, the tree inventory uh, is going to be a large part of that plan. So um, there's a lot of um, work I can do before then. But once the report is done, a lot of that information is going to get plugged in to the, um, the management plan as far as you know where we need to spend our time to improve things. Great. All right, next on the agenda is uh, updating the town website. And uh, Bennett's not here, but I know he did some work on, on changing the requested tree page. Um, it still doesn't have our policy listed there, but uh, I will talk to him about that and try to get that done by the next month, next meeting. Hopefully he'll be there then. Um, all right, we're environmental justice neighborhood planting. Anything new on that? For UMass interns, that's Britt, she's not here. There's nothing new on state level initiatives. At least I haven't done anything yet. Um, significant tree ordinance? No, nothing yet. Okay. And the solar bylaw group, anything new on that? Uh, no real updates. Um, the council committee hasn't, it hasn't gotten in front of their agenda, but it was listed on the carryover memo from the last council. So it will be for discussion eventually. It's just a matter of when they get to it. 
Okay. And then uh, the only other thing, Shoshana, I don't have your hours listed. Four. Okay. And I'll check with Britt and uh, Bennett about that also. Um, so that's all I have. Anybody else have anything? Any other comments? Stephen or David or Brooks? I had one question. Um, when we originally talked, does does the town have trees that can be planted? And do you have an inventory of trees that are available for planting? And what species are they? Um, we don't have our own trees. We buy them for the plantings we do. But we are starting a town nursery. But again, those will be trees that we plant. We don't have trees that we give out, except okay. um, we'll give out trees at the Sustainability Festival. Um, and those will be little tiny seedlings. Um, yeah, we can't really afford to just give trees to anyone. Right, right. Yeah. We nice. do, if it's in a place along the road, we will sometimes use our funding and bring a tree um, to plant. But we try to coordinate that within the plantings we do on the second Saturday of the month. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Anybody have anything to add on that? No. Nope. All right. Well, thanks everybody. And uh, short meeting. Hopefully uh, next month we'll have a lot more to talk about. We'll all be there. Good luck, Sarah, with your house. And thank you. Else. And Ellen, please get the minutes to me soon. All the power that preserves. Yep. Great. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.